But it's really kind of comical because we're a gym and we're so, you know, into fitness and health that it's funny to receive marijuana. For a month now, the co-owner of this gym in Vancouver says she's been receiving packages of marijuana, a total of six, but she says she hasn't ordered any of it. Wendy Sinclair says the first package was wrongly delivered to the gym. When her co-owner opened it and recognized the smell, she threw it away, but they kept coming. Additionally, we've also gotten some postal notes saying that there's more packages to come and pick up. So what I've gleaned from this is that these fellows or folks are not really good business people, so they don't put enough postage on the um, envelopes and they get returned to us because they're using our business address. The label on the packages says Streamway Supplements, but Sinclair hasn't been able to track that business down. We've Googled them and there's absolutely nothing that we can find on the internet. So there's no address, there's no um, website, nothing at all. So. Um, we just will collect them and then turn them over to the VPD. She says since the first package, she's given all the weed to the Vancouver police to deal with. As a former police officer herself, Sinclair says her instincts tell her something isn't right. She alleges that Streamway Supplements is not a legitimate marijuana distributor. It's definitely some type of fraud, um, probably some tax evasion as well. I'm sure if the you know Canada Revenue Agency would love to get a hold of them and probably whoever polices the marijuana distribution industry. The Vancouver police department tells City News when the gym's staff called about the packages, officers seized the drugs and they've now been destroyed. The VPD says it doesn't know who the sender is yet and it's investigating the case. When asked if she's taken any of the marijuana herself, Sinclair says she's not interested. Oh my gosh, no. No, I'm so worried about I have no um, personal bias against it other than I, um, I believe in really healthy lungs, so I definitely wouldn't smoke it. In Vancouver, Sarah Chu, City News.